गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट व्हाट इज मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग और अबाउट मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग ओके मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज ए टेक्निक व्हिच इज यूज्ड व्हेन देयर इज वन चैनल बिटवीन और देयर इज देयर इज वन चैनल शेयर्ड बाय डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डिवाइसेस एंड we use that one channel to send uh, the data of different devices simultaneously okay that means let's see let's say there is one channel okay or one medium are there okay and there is one uh, three devices share that channel okay and the data of that three devices is transmitted simultaneously through that one channel we use one technique which is uh, multiplexing okay or by multiplexing because when we do, don't use multiplexing that data that three data when we sim, uh, simultaneously send the that three data in the in the receiver in the receiver end we cannot recognize from uh, or we cannot recover our data or we separate we cannot separate our data okay between uh, or among the three uh, data mix okay but when we use multiplexing technique okay then we you uh, we mox or multiplex these three um, data okay the, we multiplex these three data uh, in the sender side okay by by uh, using mox mox which is multiplexer okay then at the receiver side we use dmox d mox okay uh, and separate the uh, our original information okay this is the multiplexing technique okay now let let's see whenever the bandwidth of a medium linked to device okay is greater than the bandwidth needed of of the devices the link can be shared okay yes the multiplexing is a is the set of techniques that allow the simultaneous transmission of a multiple signal across a single data link simultaneous transmission of a multiple signal across a single data link this technique provided this type of uh, uh, advantages okay as data and telecommunication are increased since our data also increased or the amount of data we send also increased there is so many telecommunication companies are there so many spectrums are there today's in today's life okay so by managing or by uh, you by uh, and uh, and also uh, the range uh, the spectrum range is constant but the different type of companies are there so uh, small amount of range is provided to all companies okay by using that small amount we can how we can send uh, our lot of data so by using multiplexing we can uh, send 3 4 5 uh, 6 uh, data okay by using that one channel okay or one transmission spectrum okay by using that multiplexing technique uh, and this multiplexing technique provide a uh, advantage that it uh, it easily separated or uh, by who by by this uh, by the ad advantages of this process we can easily separate our uh, data in the receiver end okay and in the uh, in the multiplexing system n line share the bandwidth of one link okay the line on the left di uh, on the left direct their transmission stream to a multiplexer here you see here n lines n uh, devices or n lines is fed to a mox okay and here the multiplexing process is there uh, happened and after that uh, the multiplexed signal is transmitted through channel okay and in the receiver end the uh, 
the, in the DMOX uh, circuit the demultiplexing uh, process is done and we get our original signals okay and that multiplexing process and demultiplexing process we can we will discuss after our okay now now there uh, there are uh, that that multiplexing okay uh, is uh, one minute now this multiplexing technique is divided into three types okay is divided into three types one is frequency division multiplexing one is wave length division multiplexing and third one is time division multiplexing and these two frequency division multiplexing and wave division wavelength division multiplexing is for analog signal okay and this time division multiplexing is for digital signal okay remember this now let let us discuss about frequency division multiplexing okay in frequency division multiplexing is an analog technique that can be applied when bandwidth of a link okay the bandwidth of a, of the link is greater than the combined bandwidth of a signal to be transmitted that means in simple way i will give you an example you can understand it this let's say one highway is there okay and the width of the highway is uh, let's say uh, 20 foot okay and two trucks are there there is two trucks okay one truck width is five foot let's say five foot another truck width is uh, seven foot okay so uh, so the combined width of these two trucks is 5 plus 7 12 foot so this the combined uh, width uh, of these two truck is less than the width of the highway through which it they can travel okay so we can uh, send these two trucks at a simultaneous time okay that means we can uh, 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 we can drive the two trucks in in the same time in that highway okay let's say this this is the truck and this is the truck okay so it's likewise like this okay one uh, link channel as a highway it's like a highway and one link chan channel is there and the bandwidth bandwidth that means uh, as like the width of the highway the in channel uh, in channel there is a bandwidth bandwidth means lower uh, the range between lower frequency and higher frequency let's say lower frequency is f1 and higher frequency is f2 the bandwidth of this channel is f2 higher frequency minus f1 okay so the range of uh, lower frequency and higher frequency of that bandwidth or of that channel is called bandwidth so whenever that bandwidth the bandwidth of uh, the uh, bandwidth of uh, linked link or devices combination of that bandwidth of, um, let this is d1 and this is d2 means device 1 and device 2 the bandwidth of device 1 is uh, let's say b1 and bandwidth of the device 2 is b2 whenever the bandwidth combine combination of two bandwidth or uh, combination of uh, bandwidth of the the two signal or uh, two uh, linked devices let's say here b1 plus b2 this bandwidth is less than the uh, linked and uh, less than the linked bandwidth or the channel bandwidth through which they can transmit let's say this is channel this is uh, b3 if b3 is greater than the b combination or the sum of bandwidth of b1 plus b2 then then also then, sorry then also then only we can use 
frequency division multiplexing this is the condition for using or using the frequency division multiplexing okay then uh, sorry then what happened in f a in fdm signal generated by each sending device modulated different carrier frequency these modulated signal are then combined into a signal single comp composite uh, signal that can be transported and by the link okay here what happened the the uh, the, uh, the 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 all all uh, information or data from all devices first of all modulated by carrier signal different carrier signal okay not same carrier signal different different carrier signal then that modulated signal then combined uh, combined by multiplexer okay and uh, after uh, com combined combination one combined signal output we can get that combined signal output we can send through the channel or link okay the carrier frequency are separated by sufficient bandwidth to accommodate the modulated signal okay that means the carrier frequency should be different because that carrier frequency is helping us in the receiver end for separating our uh, information okay our data okay this bandwidth range are the are the channels through which the various signal travel okay channels can be separated by strips of unused bandwidth guard okay guard band to prevent signal from overlapping that means if uh, here what happened if uh, let's say the bandwidth of 3 kilohertz of the channel okay and one one uh, signal or the after modulation the carrier frequency after modulation the uh, one on uh, uh, one on uh, data or modulated signal bandwidth is uh, one kilohertz one kilohertz and one kilohertz let's say this is uh, let's say this is uh, four kilohertz okay the channel bandwidth is four kilohertz so here one kilohertz here one kilohertz here one kilohertz and in between there is a unused bandwidth since there is a four kilohertz the three kilohertz one 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 three kilohertz is used by the data and the rest one kilohertz which is unused is space uh, is used as a space between these three data okay you understood that then la then let's see the multiplexing process okay i told you before that in the multiplexing process this is our uh, baseband analog signal okay okay this is one data signal this is one data signal this is one data signal these three signal we want to send in a channel simultaneously so this multiplexing process started here okay from here uh, the up uh, the channel signal is modulated first okay in the modulation there is different carriers carrier f1 carrier f2 and carrier f3 you see the frequency of carrier f1 is less than the frequency of carrier f2 and that means the uh, carrier frequency is should be different to each other okay okay then also we can or then then only we can separate our uh, information in the receiver end okay if we use similar carrier signal we cannot separate uh, in the receiver end okay so we use different different uh, carrier frequency to identify in the receiver end okay then uh, that uh, carrier signal is modulated with uh, our message signal and we get our modulated signal okay then here also we get our modulated signal here also we get our modulated signal and these three modulated signal superimposed or multiplexed into a single signal okay this is single signal and this signal is transmitted through 
the data link okay and in the multi demultiplexes what happened we receive that uh, multiplex multiplexed signal okay and we use different type of filters okay according to our uh, according to our carrier signal okay and this filter filter from uh, this filter filtered the all our uh, modulated signal separated or this filter separate separate all of our modulated signal separate okay or individually uh, we get after filtration we get our modulated signal here is modulated signal here is modulated signal and after tick demodulator uh, we feed the odd modulated signal into demodulator at the time demodulator we separate our carrier signal from uh, our data signal okay each carrier signal is separated from each demodulator demodulated signal uh, sorry modulated signal and we after that we get our uh, original data signal okay this is the whole process is done inside multiplexing and demultiplexing is in uh, in this way we can send uh, as many as uh, possible as many as signal possible or uh, uh, until the combined bandwidth of the devices is less than the bandwidth of uh, the channel or the link uh, until that we can send the data simultaneously that means uh, that means uh, when uh, or uh, uh, until the combined bandwidth of as many as signal is less than the bandwidth of channel uh, at, uh, at uh, um, less than of the bandwidth of the channel at that time or uh, until that time we can uh, use or until that amount of uh, uh, frames or amount of data we can send simultaneously through the uh, channel by using fdm okay thank you